What's going on everybody? It's Cam here at All Things Automotive and today we have a 2014 Chevy Silverado 1500 double cab. Um, it's a 4.3 liter V6, um, one previous owner, right around 57,000 miles on this one I do believe. Um, so I'll do a little walk around here. This video won't be entirely long. It's like I said, it's a work truck. Um, so it'll uh, make somebody a nice, nice, nice truck to, uh, for a company or something like that. So we'll do a little walk around here. Got your work truck bumpers, uh, black and black grills, and your headlights are all trimmed in black. Got your steel wheels in there. Looks like it has brand new uh, brakes and rotors in there on the back, as well as it looks like it uh, has, I say the tires are brand new as well. Looks like we got a brand new set of BF Goodrich tires all the way around on it. Um, got your black factory running boards on there. Looks like we got the full set of BF Goodrich on there. And see if we can get a little peek in there. Looks like brand new uh, brakes and rotors in there as well. So keep walking around here. Um, step bumper in the back. Um, no backup cam or anything on this one, um, as well as it doesn't have a hitch. So um, get a little peek in the bed. Doesn't really have a drop in bed liner though. So uh, protect your, your bed as well as anything else you have in it. Go ahead and just take a little peek here in the back seat. Um, there you go, you can see work truck has vinyl floors. Um, everything else is in really nice shape. The interior overall is in really good condition for being a previous work truck. Um, fairly clean in here, like I said, everything looks good. Then take a peek up front. I just look at the seats. Um, the only thing I did notice um, was it looks like there might be a little bit of a burn hole right here in the front seat, um, as well as a couple few other stains and things like that. Um, but we'll start here on the left side door. Cover features on the inside. Um, looks like it is. Um, still has all the buttons and everything here. They look really good shape, not worn off or anything like that. Locks up front, window controls here. It does have a child safety lock for the doors, um, as well as a window lock. Hop inside. So the left side is your headlight controls here, um, as well as your dimmer for your, your light or your dash or anything like that. Um, I believe this truck is two wheel drive. Um, so it doesn't have a four wheel drive control. Left side does have cruise control though, so that's cool. That's something you don't see a lot in the work trucks is, um, anymore or even at all is, um, does have cruise control. So um, wiper controls and uh, turn signal controls on the left side. Does have a tow haul switch in case you decide to put a switch on it yourself. Let me go ahead and just line up the dash here. Show you everything. Oh, maybe. Steering wheel walked up on me. There we go. There you go. Oh, not 57, 50,781. So there you go. 50,781 at the time of this video. Um, go everything here in the middle. Um, you still have your presets and stuff for your radio. Um, we'll see it has quite a few presets. Actually, you can do up to 25 radio presets, which is pretty good. Um, Looks like it has AM, FM radio. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Let's home button get us. So it gives us to audio settings and settings. So um, other than that, I'm not even sure. Let me check. So you can plug in your phone through USB. It does not look like it has Bluetooth on this one. Um, does have a rear cargo light and stuff though, as well as it does have traction control. So you can turn that off. Um, left side as uh, you use your fan controls for your AC, the right side would be your temperature control. Um, mostly it does have a 12 volt power outlet right there. A um, little bit extra storage right there. Oh, there we go. It's hard to do things with my left hand. Um, middle console here, does have a full bench in the front, does have three cup holders here. It does have a little bit extra there. So those are USBs in your aux ports, in case you wanna play music through your phone or anything like that. Also looks like it has an extra 12 volts power supply in there, so in case you want to charge your phone that way as well. Like I said, full bench seat in the front. Uh, but beyond that, um, I think that's pretty much it. So I'm uh, going to just hop out here and do a final walk around. Speak of any apologies, we try to be as transparent as possible. Um, show you everything on the outside as well as the inside. Um, that might need it. Um, a little attention taken care of. So. Um, Look at the hood here first. Couple of stone chips and everything like that. 
Um, all around the outside, this truck is really clean. No dings or dents like that from what I saw um, for my initial walk around. But I will go over them with you here as well. Look on the driver's side. Top of the doors and everything look really good. No scratches or anything like that from uh, tree branches. Like I said, I don't see any dings or anything like that in the door or doors. Left bedside looks really good. Bumper looks like it's in really good shape as well as the bed rails. Um, not beaten up and everything like that. Looks really good. Bumper looks really well taken care of as well. Right side looks just as good as the left side. Give you a little peek at the top of the doors. Give you a little peek at the roof, you can see. Nothing going on up there. Looking good. So if anybody has any questions about this uh, 2014 Silverado work truck, please feel free to give us a call at 717-485-4224. Um, sales extension is 1502. You can also look us up on the web at thomasata.com um, and request information about this truck as well as any other vehicles we have in our inventory. Um, directly through there. So thanks for watching guys and hope you have a wonderful day.